Hello everyone. This is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. How are you all doing today? Today I am going to teach you how to do a granny square. I'm trying to get this so it focuses better because it seems to be out of focus. Mm. I thought I'd hit this one to it's more in focus now. Okay. We got it. This I'm going to be using some cotton yarn. It didn't have uh, wrappers on it, but I can tell it is cotton. And it came from Lisa at Coping with Yarn. Uh, when I won the giveaway, it was to um, support Cindy at Pups and Crochet. I won the get grand prize. So a bunch of channels sent me yarn gifts, which is wonderful. I've got lots of yarn. I kept it stored in its container that it came in, uh, just so that I, it would all be together and I would know where it came from and I could shout her out. So I'm shouting out Lisa with Coping with Yarn and Cindy at Pups and Crochet. Besides the two skeins of yarn that she sent me, she also sent me a beautiful shell stitch marker. Isn't that beautiful? With a little lobster clasp, and it's the same on both sides. Thank you, Lisa. And here we go. I am going to start out by doing a slip knot the way I always have done it. So I make a loop like that. And then I take the working yarn and I go around the loop and then through the loop. And I pull it that way. And I take my hook, it, I've got a five millimeter. I assume that's what it call, it'll call for. I don't know, there's no wrapper. But then I hold it like this, and I'm gonna chain. You can chain four and do a, a slip stitch in the first chain. But what I like doing when I do a, a granny square is I use the first chain as my hole in the center. So this chain three here counts as a double crochet and I will do another double crochet right in this uh, chain one space. Oops. Didn't go through it all. There. And pull up a loop, yarn over, chain through two, pull through two more. That's two double crochets. I will do another double crochet in that same spot. One. Okay, so that's three. Now I'm going to do a chain two. That'll be the corner. And now I will do three more double crochets in that center chain. So 
So one. Chain two, one, two. That's my second corner. Now three more double crochets in that same space. One. Two. Chain two, two, three more double crochets for my fourth side. Now to make the chain two space in here, I guess I could just make the chain two space. Yeah, I'll do that and we'll join it at the top of the chain three. So that would be this stitch right here. Because this is the top of the third chain, this is the top of the second chain, so this one will be the top of the first chain. Slip stitch in there. And I could pull on this to tighten it some. And when I work that in afterwards, that'll help tighten it some more. Now I will slip stitch in these two double crochets and in the chain space. So actually I'm going to not double crochet or not slip stitch into the chain space but just to the third double crochet chain three and that will count as my first double crochet and then I will chain two in the chain space One, two, and I will do a chain two and two more double crochets in the same chain space. I think I'm doing this wrong. Nope, I'm going to go on. And then do a chain, a double crochet in the first chain space in this uh, set of three double crochets. Then I chain one, skip one, double crochet in the third double crochet. Two double crochets in this space. 
the chain two space one two and then chain two one two that'll be the corner two more double crochets in this chain space and one double crochet in the very first double crochet of this three double crochet set and then chain one and then I will skip the, the center double crochet and I will double crochet in the next double crochet Got to redo that one. This yarn is a little bit splitty. So, right there, and then two double crochets in the chain space, the chain two space, one. Two. Then I will chain two. One, two. Two more double crochets in that same chain space. One. Two. And double crochet in the first of this chain three spaces or set of three double crochets Oops, I don't need to do that. Sorry, guys. I need to chain one here. Double skip that chain. Double crochet in the third of that set. Third double crochet of that set. Two double crochets in the next chain space, chain two space. Chain two for the corner. Two more double crochets in the chain space. One. So I gotta pull some yarn out. Two. And then a double crochet in the very first of the set of three double crochets from the previous row. Then I do a chain one. And I am going to go into the third chain. One, two, three. To join it.
and this is the beginning of my granny square. I was, see, I've got three here, chain two, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, chain two. And then in the top, I've got three double crochets, chain two for the corner, three double crochets, chain one, omitting, skipping that one. So I've incorporated, I didn't only do the uh, three double crochet clusters in the chain spaces. I included one in the first or last stitch of the three set of three double crochets. See, because this is part of this three, and this one is part of this three. Now I'm going to get some red yarn and I'm going to go around it with the red yarn. I'll be right back. I wanted to let you know that I finished off that end and I uh, shut the the white off or I stop the white and I'm gonna join the red here I'm going to some people they just uh, go through the stitch and pull the yarn through and start working with it without tying a knot I like knots So I start off my slip stitch like this. I go around it with the working yarn, go through the loop, and pull that loop. Okay. Here we go. So that's how I start off my yarn when I switch colors. And I am going to go in my third stitch, which will be this one right here. And what I'm going to do with this one is do a slip stitch so I slip through there and through the beginning loop chain one single crochet in that first stitch because that chain one doesn't count as anything now I am going to do this is not a corner so I'm just going to do a chain one in here and I'm going to chain one or single crochet. That's what I meant. Single crochet in the chain space. And single crochet in the top of each of the next double crochets. One. Two. Three. I'm going to single crochet in here, the chain space, and do chain two, single crochet in that same chain space, and that makes one of the corners. Now I'm going to single crochet in the next three double crochets. So 
one. Two, three. I'm going to single crochet in the next chain space because it's only a chain one space, it's not a corner. And single crochet in the next three double crochets. So, one, two, three. I'm going to do a chain one or single crochet. Chain two and single crochet, and I will continue this all the way around it, and I'll show you what I do when I join it. All right, everyone, here we go. I did single crochets in each of the um, double crochets and I did a single crochet in the chain one space and the next three then I did a chain one in the corner space and a chain two and another uh, single crochet in the, all single crochet chain two single crochet in each corner then one single crochet in each of the three uh, double crochets, chain a single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the next three double crochets, then a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner space, three single crochets, one single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. One single crochet in the chain one space. One single crochet in each of the next three double crochets. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner. Single crochet in the next three double crochets single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next three double crochets single crochet chain two single crochet in the corner space and then i single crocheted in the next two single crochets and that's where i stopped because i need to join it to this single crochet Remember I told you that chain one space, that chain one that we did at the beginning when we joined it didn't count as anything. So we're not joining in here, we're joining here. We go under these top two strands of yarn, yarn over, pull through those that and pull through the loop on your hook and that's where I'm going to end my granny square so now I will chain two this is the way creative grandma does it and her knots turn out really nice and tight you pull this and you pull down on the knot. So that's the way that works. And now I'm going to take one of my yarn needles and I'm going to work in some ends.
I go three directions when I pull work in the ends and I stick to keeping the color as best I can some with variegated yarns it's pretty near impossible but with solid colored yarns like this it's easy to stay like this is red so I'll stay work and work the yarn through the red yarn So that's one direction and then I will never go in the same I will find another uh, strand of yarn to go under rather than the strand that the yarn came out of so Here's two. Second direction. And now it looks like it's not going to be long enough to um, be in here and pull through. So what I'm going to do is find a strand here that I can go under near here so this one looks like a good one and then I could go under a bunch of them as long as they're red and when I get it to as much far as I want it then I work on threading the needle Make sure it's got some loose so that it can pull through there. And now I will trim that one off. Now I'll work on this. And I think I'll go this way this time. So I'll start with going under here and there and there. Go under those. But I did a mistake. Because this is the front side, and I don't want the yarn through the front side. Not to, so I notice it anyway. So I will go through, let's see. find a piece of yarn to go under here and through there and there from that one okay. so, so far this is what this one will look like although I need to work in my white strands here
Didn't go far enough. Gotta keep going. find another strand to go under so we'll go under this one okay. that was going through two passes now a different strand right there. This strand. Huh. Yeah. It's nice and long so that I can go three directions without worrying about it not being long enough. I don't want to go under the red ones, except for those two, because I have to, to get to the white. That wasn't far enough in, so I gotta keep going under more white. And I wanna go under more. Now, that was one direction. Go under this strand to start out so that way it doesn't unravel. Two directions. Now we'll find another strand of white yarn to go under to start out this third direction. continue this strand a little bit farther from in this direction okay now I will trim here And this is what my granny square looks like. Let me know what you think. Do you do them differently? There are a billion ways to do a granny square. So let me know how you do them. All right? I will talk to you later. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And God bless you. You can make so many things with granny squares. I'm thinking I can make a dishcloth. I can make a pot holder. I can make a cardigan with a bunch of these. I could make a table runner. I could even make a Christmas tree skirt. Or hang them up by the corner. And it's like a snowflake. It can be a Christmas tree ornament.
So let me know what you would use this for. A little doily like this. Or a granny square. Sorry. I've got doilies on the brain. Let me know what you would make with granny squares. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.